Hello. It's bu It's bourbonite? Cut cut the track. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Make it stop. Oh that's our that's our replay. There it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, no. Like play us no more. Play us out, guys. Shush, make play, it stop. Play us out. Oh no. No. All good. We figured it out. All good now. And by we I mean I just sat here and said make it stop, Chad. And, you just said make he, it stop. And make he it figured stop. it out. Yeah. Um, oh, good. So that's good. Yeah. How we is, got there. We got there together. How is everyone doing? I'm just doing a little tidying up here on the old computer screen. Make things easier to read. Yes. Uh, lots of people in chat. That's always nice to see. Good, good. Uh, Wheel says it's been a while since I've caught a live. Thanks for hey, joining Wheels. us. Good to see you, man. Virtually. Virtually. Right. Good, good uh, to see your typing, I guess. That's what we right? have to say. <laughs> I guess mm. that's true. So, what were you doing so, today, Chad? Sunday night live. It's Bourbon Nights. Um, we're we got three bottles in front of us here, and I guess we can kind of you know take take a hmm, survey. Uh, okay. Because first off, and I actually have decided for you that I think we should do this first. No survey. This is the Blue Run. Um, this is a thirteen-year-old bourbon. And it is one of only 2,600 bottles, 113 proof. And for the proof reason, I think, well, but then... Very good. Uh, it's higher proof than these other two, oh dear. I think. So, actually, maybe not. Let's see. Well, let's bring them up. You bring yours. Okay. So, we we're going to kind of do a uh, sort of a live drink this or that. We both have a Michter's Limited Release US 1 barrel strength. Very excited about these. I am holding the rye. I am holding the bourbon. And mine is 108.2 proof and yours is 109 and some change I just saw. So not a huge difference. I'm not really that concerned about starting here and stepping down. Sure. Uh, so I think what we should do is start off with an uncorking of this guy. Let's do it then. Very excited about that. Want to say, did I get it? Nope. Want to say. And then go on. Kilco Whiskey Musings. Oh, I like the new the new name there, Kilco. It Very says nice. uh, pre-game stream was glorious. I sent at least one or two people here. I promise. Thanks, Kilco. Yeah, if you guys ever want to do a little pre-gaming before we go live, check out Kilco's channel right over there. <laughs> Good to see a lot of uh, you know normal faces here in the chat, and as always, some new ones. If this is your first live, thanks for joining us. We do this every Sunday. We do pr uh, produce episodes on Fridays. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If and you like, if you like what you're seeing. And then there's always these, the thumbs. We love those thumbs. That is true. We do like thumbs. Love the thumbs. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. All right. I feel like we should start with the uncorking and then move to the this or that. Yeah. Or it could be I both. Um, but yeah, I there think that could be, be only fun. one. We can't do all three at once. Scott Pigsley, what are you talking about? He said your tip is showing. I'm like, the of the mic? Is it this? I don't think so. Is it? Is it? Tip? Oh, it is. It is showing. Look at that. Our tip is showing. How about now? I think it's out now. Okay. If you well. all would like to leave just a tip, <laughs> um, we are accepting uh, super chats. No. Well, I think uh, we got it. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not <laughs> distracting at least. All right, be gone okay. with, with you all. <gasps> Can I do this one? Yeah, go for it. So, 13 years. It says Georgetown, Kentucky on it. Now, Chad, I heard that this was a Jim Rutledge project. Is that true? That's what I heard. That's what you heard? I, I did, also heard the MSRP is 170. I did zero looking into it, but that's what I heard. Well, you know what? I, you know what? You finish this. What I like to do in these scenarios where we didn't do our homework. We got is, our team uh, Google have right here. Breaking Bourbon do our homework for us. Okay. <laughs> so that I'm on their page. Too. Um, so yeah, it's one of 2,600 bottles. Sourced from an undisclosed distillery with ease in parentheses. So one or more distilleries in Kentucky, though. Um, and future releases will also be selected by Jim Rutledge. There you go. I like it. So there's that. Yeah, 13 years. I... We have, uh, well, this is the winter batch. So I guess that denotes there's going to be <laughs> different batches. 11-11-20. Uh, and this is bottle 1622 hmm. out of 2600. I'm wondering what is the story behind the uh, butterfly on the label, but it doesn't say in that story. Or maybe it does, but I'm just doing a really bad job at it's skimming. Because you gotta, you gotta catch it. I'm you, a, gotta, you gotta catch it like a butterfly. I'm sure there's gotta be some significance about that. Nope. Um, 
there's none. But yeah, this is the winter batch. All right, let's break into it here. Let's do it. Pause for cork pop. Easy. Oh, <laughs> it was fight me. It was. Cut me a Marlin. Well, it says bottled in Sparta, Kentucky. That's where our uh, racetrack is. It's yeah. Sparta, the mm -hmm. Kentucky Speedway. I did a Tough Mudder there once. Oh, yeah. And I won't be doing that again. I did one and I proved it to myself and now I'm done. Two more? No. Okay. Thank you. Kind of figured. I mean, I can pour myself more if I want more. Right. You know, Whiskey Weekend, Batch 3 is coming up next week, so I'm kind of trying to take it a little easier. Uh, just because That's it's correct. going to be a big weekend and yeah. I don't want to... Just give the old body a break. The old body. The old body. Yeah. Oh, we got our first super chat of the evening. Thank you goes to Chad. And no, I'm not referring to myself in third person. That would be weird. It's Chad Humphrey. He says, love you guys. Hey, from E-Town. That's Elizabethtown here in Kentucky. There's a movie about it if you need to know it's more. It's called Elizabethtown. Uh, drinking Evan Williams bottled, bottled and Bond tonight. Very good. Thank you, Chad. Thanks, Chad. Thank you much. Let's get this sorted for you. Whoop. Very nice. All right. Oh, I gotta really think about things before I go into my Perry, Perry face off. Uh, oh, okay. On I was April like, 30th. Where, are, where are you going with that? Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> into my Perry into pour. My Perry... Into my Perry phase. My Perry yay. Um, we're doing a Matt Madness. Matt Madness with ADHD whiskey, um, and our first bracket is on April thirtieth. So I have to versus versus Perry. I versus Perry. I I versus Perry. I love that movie. <laughs> um, be sure to check it out over on ADHD Whiskey's channel. Uh, yeah, mm. as you said, April 30th. April 30th. Th Not our, this coming Friday, but the one after that. Yeah. We'll be a week removed from Whiskey Weekend. And Clifton is who... And Clifton. Yeah, that's who I'm going up against. Bourbon Bites. So. And this is my bourbon podcast. That's right. Before... Mm. Okay, before we get into this... We take this. a drink. We have a very special triangle-worthy super chat from Michelle Martin. She says... We saw Stag Jr. for the first time ever. Was it in the wild? Uh, um, but the store wanted three hundred dollars, so we passed. Instead, yeesh. we bought a Maker's Fay twenty twenty one. Cheers, to everyone! I think you made the right decision. That's a lot. I Michelle. would not spend that on a Stag Jr. And this one's also going to be for Joseph Brezo and JoJo coming up here. <gasps> that was my best triangle cheers of all time. Have you been practicing? No, but I should. Joseph Brezo. If you want to read that one, Sarah, I don't he want to said, take all of them. I've missed the last three live streams. Oh. Well, understandable, Joseph. You guys have been traveling. Uh, please accept this small cash token as an apology. You, no need to apologize. Uh, well, thank you for owning up to it. Uh, we can't no. always take attendance. Mm. Oh, hush. <laughs> <laughs> and JoJo says, hello, Chad and Sarah. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the Matt Madness slash ADHD whiskey bracket. Yes. And if you guys are worried that you're like, wait, where was that supposed to be again? Uh, when's that going to be? Just go subscribe to ADHD whiskey. Um... And then, ADHD, ADHD. Well, you know my words are not good, uh, and then you'll get a like you'll get a little reminder when it happens. Yeah, hit that bell. If you guys haven't hit our bell, bell, please hit our bell, and we will hit our bell. We like in return for you to ring our bell. Ring. You can our ring my bell. bell. Uh, 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 ring yeah. my bell. All right. All right. Nice light. I mean, it's got depth, but there's something nice and sweet and light on the top. Like, a little bit of cinnamon. Hmm, I don't know. It's a little perplexing. It almost reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. It smells nice and even keeled. What is even the proof? Yeah, 113. 113. That's a very unlucky... It's only the third time I've said that. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's... There's something in there that's really nice, and I can't... I can't identify it. My brain needs a minute. Yeah, I think this is one of those drink <sighs> it and then go back. back and smell. Mm. That sweetness that I was getting on the nose meets you. Like, very front of the palate. Now, there's the proof. Wasn't getting the it proof unrolls into that proof. at all. On the, oh, is this beam? I don't think so. There's some, or Heaven Hill. There's some, you would think with The mouthfeel is you the first thing I noticed. With Jim Rutledge, it probably be Four roses. roses. Well, it said it distilleries. Distilleries. So it could be a blend. I think the plural of distilleries is distilleries. Yeah. Um, well, we'll 
keep digging into mm. this. But before we do that, we have a couple more super chats. Oh my! Let me get to them. Who's the first? Is it? Is it? It's Eric. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Eric said, "I spent almost one hundred and fifty-seven dollars for Stag Junior, but Chad and Sarah pulled me out. Wait, pulled me out of the mouth of madness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. almost spent. Yeah. Right. Stag Junior is delicious. Don't get me wrong. And like, but paying over a hundred is tough. But paying over a hundred is really tough. Yeah. Yeah. If it was the only one I had ever seen and it was the batch twelve, I might do it. Um." No, but I still, I still don't feel good about that. Yeah, if it's your first ever stag, that's sort of a different story. I don't know if if you if want it's it bad enough. Tonight, I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's not. No. No. <laughs> there they are. Stag. Well, well if you, you can saw, just, yeah, if you saw our video, you can just go watch Friday's episode, um, uh, and hopefully that'll put to rest. Hey, is that a green screen? <laughs> every, no. No. <laughs> Luck. Chad's like, no, I built this. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty good green screen work. It would be good. I would, you know, I would say. Not to get all the weird little yeah. fuzzies no, whenever you uh, move. Yeah. No artifact blur. We don't like green screen. No green spill. I'm just going to well, say this is a green screen. A bad green screen is really noticeable and yes, off-putting. A, a good green screen tisn't. No. Thank you, Eric. Um, So that cowbell also goes for Ian, uh, who says, I've missed a lot of streams. Can't wait to see you guys again. Chad, I need my stickers. Yes, I emailed you, man. I said, hey, I need to, well, I need to may have ship you back. those stickers. Have you checked for And his? then you emailed back and you were like, you said nothing about where to ship those stickers. Like, yeah, I remember. You were like, yeah, cool. I think it's exactly what you said. You were, okay. like, you were like, hey, man. Well, we just need to reconnect on that one <laughs> and we will get that done for you. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I, we already did the cowbell. Oh, well, there, there And you go. Uh, Anthony says, hey, guys, cheers from Danville. What? That's just down Kentucky the road. Kentucky represent here tonight. That is not far. Yeah. So, yeah, cheers. Cheers to y'all. Mm. You Kentuckians might know about OK Baby. OK Baby? Old Kentucky Bourbon Bar up in uh, northern Kentucky. I didn't get my water out of the shop. This is... I think my favorite part about this is the mouthfeel. It is making my mouth water. Like, after I sip it, Pretty exceptional. It almost has that <clears throat> slight raisiny, grapey note. To clear up that beautiful frame. Shut your face. <laughs> you know, I get sort of a raisiny. <laughs> I was like, I will murder you. I will end you. Uh, I mean, a little bit of rage just flashed through my eyes. I'm... That's why I was like, shut it down. It, I was kidding. This is on video now. Oh wait, the replay's up here. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> wait, wait happened? for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, here it is. This is good TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have to go back and watch it. You were like, I was like, put that in slow I literally a, had the uh, face of, gif. of, I will cut you. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I guess I was right about the raisiny. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I barely got into the tasty notes before you're taunting me and we have more super oh, chats to go through. Well, that, there's the Danville, Kentucky again. Yes, you got that one. Jeff Winbush is next. So good, it went up twice. Yes. Jeff Winbush. And James Wolverton. And James Wolverton. Jeff says, I've only seen Stag Jr. once in my life, and that was uh, in a hotel bar in Louisville. That's how we say Louisville. Your vault is second only to Prince's. Oh, cool. Who Aww. knows what's in Prince's vault? All a bunch of unreleased Don't. Music. I think. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, true. Is that not the Prince we're talking about? I don't know. I would imagine. I guess, I would yeah, assume. Prince's with the apostrophe would be his fault. His vault, yeah. Um, Please clarify, Jeff One Bush, but. But, I, you know, I, I the whiskey vault, talking. they've got they've got a lot of good stuff, too. Yeah. And James and Wolverson. Oh, yes. James, happy anniversary. Oh, um, yeah. He said, ending my anniversary weekend by enjoying a Four Roses small batch select with you guys. Wow, we're really. I think that deserves happy. a. a it does. Anniversary triangle. Really sweet of you to spend your anniversary with us. For, I like it. Well, he's I'm glad Cheryl doesn't mind. He's, he's ending. Sure, sure. The sure. anniversary. Well, hopefully she's weekend. enjoying a nice drink as well. Cheers to both you guys, you and Cheryl. And a couple more. And it rolls on. <laughs> thank you, thank you. With Troy yeah. Duncan saying. I have to pass along. My wife Shelby took Sarah's birthday. <laughs> we we heard, we saw this on Instagram. Sarah's bourbon bread pudding to her boss's party yesterday, and overwhelmingly won the dessert competition. I was like, yeah, <gasps> it's it's no joke. Now I ha now I can put award winning <laughs> bourbon bread pudding. Yeah, I love that. That's I'm awesome. so happy. And then Scott 
Scott says we need to pick up the library so we can use it as our Zoom backgrounds. Mm. I think that's hilarious. We'll just leave frame for a second. Nice. You guys can screen grab. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Wow. Do you get... I get like a cinnamon Man, raisin. I get... Almost like cinnamon raisin toast. Now that it, now that I've had two or three sips of it, I am getting four roses. And it, you know what? Sort of in the older stuff, like mm. the... But I'm also getting a little bit of that grapey note. But I, I don't mm. think there's any way... That yeah. There's any buffalo trace in this bottle. No, 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 no. no. There's no way. I don't think so. I, uh, I would think it would be a blend of four roses and something, but what? But yeah, it's like that older, older four roses kind of profile. Even I mean, it's thirteen years. So that's that's old. But yeah, that we've gotten in some like some of their LEs where it mm -hmm. has like some fifteen and some seventeen blended in, and mm -hmm. and you know it's thirteen years, which has to be what class? The youngest. Uh, whiskey in in the blend, so there I could be <laughs> Bueller. There could be fifteen, and there could be seventeen year uh, in there. Uh, but as long as their youngest is yeah. the only H statement, if they want to put an H statement on there. Why did it hide Lil's comment about high swan? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Like, who are you calling a swan? Don't call. People. Maybe it's the emoji. Um, let's see. I missed something. Lando said better than Cream of Kentucky. Another great oh, recent my. Rutledge release. Wow. Recent Rutledge release is a tongue twister. Recent twister. Rutledge release. So, yes, I would say so. Well, we only had that one batch. We've got no, some no, no, others. No, that's King. No, Cream. I, Jim Rutledge had nothing to do with King of Kentucky. I know. But I'm saying, are you thinking of King? Because we only have one release of that. We Whereas have, Cream, we have, have we, like three or four. But have we opened them all? Yeah, we did them on live like a couple months ago. Never mind. Sarah wasn't here for that one, apparently. Um, <laughs> well, then, yes, I do like this better. Yeah. Um, to for be sure. honest. I mean, again, I would really 100% know for sure. I would have to do them in a blind lineup. But from memory, mm -hmm. I liked the Cream of Kentucky releases, but I wasn't, like, wild about them. Obviously, I remember the things that I love the most. So yeah. when I'm like, oh, did we open those? Ooh, not, not the reaction you want. Um, so this would be my pick. I really like this. Just gonna put that up there on screen for the rest of the show. Brian says Team Chad for Matt Madness. Like all the way or just in that first round? Just all all the way. Sarah. But he just needs somebody cheering for him. Come, come on. That's hey, true. if I get bumped out early, I will obviously cheer for you. And if it's me and you in and the finals, same. I will cheer for you too. I will cheer for you. Even though, I mean, I'll also be the one who has to clean up your tears, but <laughs> <laughs> So I know we got some Here, Gypsy, give me your tears. <laughs> Now we got some mods in the in the house tonight, right? Yeah, we do. Let's I saw Trev show. Juan. Oh well, I'm they're, they're busy. I thought you meant you were just gonna say hey to them because well, they're I, I, great I, people yeah, for being hey. here and volunteering their Get time back to, work. to mod. Excuse you, <laughs> excuse him for his uh, rudeness. Uh, yeah, your first cream of Kentucky was trash. Uh, it was Joseph. It was so so bad. Cream of Kentucky or King of Kentucky? Well, he said cream. I was thinking I he said king. Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, the, the, the first, first cream, cream of Kentucky was not was trash. Fine. It was fine. It was lackluster, if anything. I was looking forward to it wait like a lot, and yeah. then when we got it, I was like, okay. Mm. Yeah. I like I would if I saw another bottle like the second release of this came out yeah. next week, I'd be like, oh, we need to go get that. No, but the king of Kentucky was hot the garbage. first one. However, a trusted source tells us that the uh, most recent releases of King of Kentucky are delicious, mm -hmm. um, like one of the best things she's ever had. And that trusted source would be Caroline, Caroline Paulus from Justin's House of Bourbon, and she's on Instagram and she's adorable. You can go follow her. And I, yeah, I trust her, and I have no doubt. It's just you know that first one was three hundred and for, for so dollars. it hurt because Chad literally said he wouldn't spend twenty dollars to buy it again. Like it wouldn't even Not be even. worth. He's like, I would rather buy a JTS Brown than have that again. I'd be much happier. And I think that's saying something. So yeah. And people will always be like, oh, well, can I try it? And we're like, oh, sure. Yeah. You have at it. And afterwards they're like, yeah, no, <laughs> no. I think we just got a funky bottle. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But um, anyways. Yeah, but a uh, super chat from Sean saying, got a Michter's Barrel Strength Rye here that I bottled myself at the distillery after we took their last tour before they shut down for COVID. Mm. I was like, bottled yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did that too. We got one. It's, I mean, you can't see it, but it's uh, back here and it's, it's a little box. That's a, that's a cool, cool thing. And I'm sure they'll start doing that again. Yeah. Cheers to you. Thanks. Finish up this 
blue run. run. Coming back to this. Not a memorable name. I get like light brown sugar and a little bit of orange zest, which is nice. I think that light brown sugar was that like sweetness. Mm. I really like this. I'm liking this better than I was thinking. Because, yeah, the, the, the cream of Kentucky line has been fine and it has gotten better, but nothing has really been like, now that's what I remember from Jim Rutledge Four Roses days. Mm -hmm. But this... Is this making you feel more this, like those things? Yes. This, I think it's tasty. Now I wish we hadn't waited so long to open it. It's, well, you blew it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got it now. It's open. That's true. It's here for us to enjoy. I like it. Yes. Now, 170 is a lot, um, yeah. but I really like it. Mm -hmm. Like like I said, if the next batch, but I feel like my advice isn't always, our advice isn't always uh, sound for them. Like, I would go out and buy another bottle of this next week because we would want to review it um, and we'd want it for our like best right. out or whatever. Well, not everyone could go out every week and spend 110 right, bucks yeah, on whatever yeah. bourbon. We're like, go do it. <laughs> but I think what you're saying is like, if you are familiar with older Four Roses things mm -hmm. um, from Jim Rutledge days and, or if you liked the cream of Kentucky or you were wanting to get a cream of Kentucky, but you couldn't, it's tasty. I really like it. Agreed. I don't think you'll be disappointed. No. Jojo. Jojo. Says, hey guys, I'm thinking of going to Kentucky for the first time in July. Ooh, it'll be a hot one. Yeah, I will. I definitely want to vi visit Bardstown Bourbon Company and Buffalo Trace. Any other suggestions? Team Sarah, not with an H. Uh, first suggestion is you should look up on their websites. A lot of distilleries have a month where they're closed. And it tends to be, I think it's like mid or late July to early August. They close for like two weeks to a month for routine maintenance and cleaning. Because mm -hmm. it also is so hot that it's just like really hard to distill yeah. so i would research the places you're hoping to hit and make sure mm -hmm. that they're not closed when you're trying to go um what was the question bardstown so you're going to kentucky yeah. i guess you'll be in the bardstown area you should definitely hit up the heaven hill bourbon heritage center um willet is also really nice to visit it's beautiful and they have a great restaurant um what else 1792 barton is <laughs> Cool. Um, the taste, like the gift shop in the tasting room is a little small, but they have one of the most like detailed, Yeah. like they really get into the nuts and bolts of, yeah. of things. I would also say, you know, there's a, there's a Four Roses uh, there, Four Roses at Cox Creek. Mm -hmm. That's where they have their one story there? warehouses. Yeah, apparently you can. We, uh, I don't think they always did. And we thought that you couldn't, but um, the internet corrected us oh. and said, yeah, they are. Now, COVID times, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know currently, but yes, they do give tours there at, at that one. No distilling at that one, but that's where the warehouses are. The nice thing is Bardstown's only like an hour away from Louisville and Lexington. So I probably wouldn't stay in Bardstown. There's not a lot of great hotel options mm -hmm, yet. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably stay in Louisville because they've got Whiskey Row and lots of great distilleries up there and then have a day trip to Bardstown or stay in Lexington and do the same. Because yeah. if you stay in Lexington, then you can hit Four Roses in Lawrenceburg. You could hit Woodford, um, Buffalo Trace, which are all between like 30 and 45 minutes out. Yeah. So. And Mammy's Kitchen. Oh, and Wild Turkey's not too far either. Oh, true. Yeah. So true. Uh, and also a uh, $10 from Mark Harris. Thank you. Thank you much. We'll get we something get... in our glass and cheers both of you guys. If you'll grab a bourbonite and a drink more in that order, that's how we'll keep them. Yeah, that's okay. how we'll keep them straight. I'll move this guy. Goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 All right. I wonder when the next bottle release of this will be out, because this is winter. Mm -hmm. You think there will be a spring or a summer? I would think summer. I would think summer, yeah. too. Oh, but... and this one will also be for Anthony. Dang. You know what I was just thinking? Hmm. If we had opened this before the end of the year last year, I don't know when we actually got this. Um, we got it. I would have put this in our best of 2020. We got it flight, or on flight. Christmas Eve of 2020. So that wasn't going to happen. No. Uh, we were already working our way through that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this year, when the next release comes out, I would, if it follows this up. Mm -hmm. And you see, folks, that's the magic of the tag system. I know when we got it, what we paid for it, where we got it. As long as I remember oh, to no. do it. You're going to have to do it. Yeah. Well, it's uh, Anthony saying, oh. hey, it's me again. I wanted to ask what you would compare the Blue Run to. 
I would say some Four Roses LEs would be a good... Mm, I uh, think that's a good comparison, too. Comparison? Yeah, absolutely. We might have to do that. Yeah. Once it gets some time. We might, because uh, we've got some. Oh, uh, where are they? There. Up there. Yeah, up there. Uh, so we might have to do that. Shall. All right. Oh, well, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> you didn't do a countdown or anything. You didn't even say. Switch. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that AM AMSR is amazing. <laughs> Some good stuff. All right. For those who have super chatted, we salute you. And for those about to rock. What are we starting with? Okay. I think it's always... <laughs> I was messing with you. It was for Joseph. <laughs> uh, I think it's always best to start with the bourbon, which will be our left, our drink more bourbon, Glencairn, available at whiskeyambitions.com. It's my Oh, that smells voice. lovely. Let's give you the bona fides on both of these. Uh, this is 108.2 on the bourbon, and this is 109.6 on the mm. rye. All Again, right. we're starting with that bourbon. Ooh, smells good. Where's my cursor? Mm. There we go. Mictors always tend to have this like toasted graham cracker note. Ooh. I Ooh. feel like I should Ooh. be better at blind spotting Mictors. Mictors is tough. Well, I it is tough because it's not something if, that. Yeah, you break like the scale out of. With the pie chart of distilleries that we drink the most, I think Mictors is going to be a smaller, a smaller slice. Smaller slice. But not that it doesn't deserve to be a bigger slice. I just. It's just their better stuff is harder to it's get. It's harder to get, yeah. But it does. It has yeah. this like nice golden graham cracker. Golden grams? And I don't know. Ooh. And like a nice toasty char. I don't know how to explain it. That's my best. That's what I do. <laughs> you have it now. Mmm. I should be able to spot that, though. I feel like if it smells like s'mores, it's Michter's. <laughs> or it's Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Ah. Um, but then the proof would tell me which. Um, see, Perry, I'm practicing. Wherever you are out there. <laughs> She's watching you. Uh, Jojo is you. asking, not sure if missed this or not, but what distillery makes Blue Run? Undisclosed distillery. Distillerize. Yeah, I think it's a Jim Rutledge project. Multiple, possibly. So I don't really know. Uh it's Blue Run Spirits, Sparta, Kentucky, bottled by, but distilleries are undisclosed, sourced, and it could be a blended product. We're not sure. Yeah. I'll say this about Mictors. You know, they have that lower 103 barrel proof entry point, and there's, their cast strength stuff isn't super high, but it it drinks mm. higher. You know, to me, it's just drinking more around 115, you know? Yeah. Now, Chad, something I just said that I think might actually be wrong. Yeah. I said it could be for multiple distilleries, it could be blended, but it says Kentucky Straight bourbon whiskey. But that doesn't mean it can't be blended, right? It doesn't mean it can't be a blend of Kentucky Straight bourbon whiskey. If they're whiskeys. both Kentucky Straight bourbon whiskeys. And it doesn't have to say it's a blend of. Well, okay. Just making sure. Nope. It's not bottled and bond, so. No. Yeah. True. Ooh. I was like, wait, did I just say a lie? No, 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 no. Thanks for walking through that with me. <laughs> we we all got there together. Jose, what's up? Jose with the squirrel. Got to put that up on screen for a second. Um, it has a really nice savory barrel finish. You know, um, it's a little bit for me. And I, I get this note fairly. Is it like eating a steak? No. <laughs> country ham. Mm. Country, salted country ham. It's been curing in a warehouse, which does happen around here in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Little bit of cast iron skillet. Hmm. It's so comforting. Yeah. This, this is, is one of those... Comfort bourbon. I'm, every time I have this, like, mixtures, especially of this level, and they're lined up, I'm like, man, why don't I drink more mixtures, like, on the regular? Uh, and I don't know. I think it's... I mean, it's one of those things, what do you call it? Like choice paralysis or whatever, decision paralysis. paralysis. Yeah, I'm like, what's closest to me and something that I like? 
Uh, and that's how I also like get on kicks of, and you do too. Yeah. Cause it's so hard to be like, what of all, go through a catalog of however many hundreds of things yeah. in your head. And what do you want? Mm -hmm. No, for it's sure. Tough. It's like trying to order the cheesecake factory. There's too many pages. <laughs> so many ads. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm complaining and it's obnoxious. Um, Jordan Upton with a $10 super chat saying watching from Spokane, Washington, go Zags. There you go. Thank you. Joseph, for what do you chat. think about that? Zags. Ba -ding. <laughs> I'm not trying to start anything, I promise. That was very soft. A soft cowbell for you. A soft shoe. How much are these? Let's see. The the bourbon <clears throat> we got, oh, just recently, March 20th. Yeah. It was $85 uh, at Total Wine. This one was also $85, also at Total Wine. Wow. So Look at Total Wine showing up. Same price. Same price, yeah. Same price. Almost the same proof. Very close mm -hmm. in proof. The rise a little bit higher. Uh, Man. Jose wants to know the ABV on both again. 108.2 and 109.3. Six. 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 So really close. Jose, these aren't these aren't uh, scotches. We, we deal in proof here. Well, it's just ABV talk. Oh, I did answer with the proof and not the ABV. My bad, Jose. What are they teaching you down there in Texas? How they do Texas whiskey with the <laughs> good. See you, Ian. Ian is heading. Hi, right, Ian. Have a good one. I love the finish on on this on this bourbon. It's very warming. It's a it's a it's a nice slow Kentucky hug, but it's it's definitely there. I think this is like the mouth feels so nice too. It starts out, I don't know, it's kind of mm. soft and silky, and yep. then it crescendos into those more, like I said, those graham crackery, barrel-y, a little bit more savory flavors. Uh -huh. yep. um, a little lemon? A little, a little, there's a little brightness little lemon, in there, lemon yeah. Zest pop. A little citrus brightness. Could maybe also be seen as like tea. It's but, lovely. Yeah, it's really good. And I saw mm. someone say, not a bad price. Oh, Scott said it. Really not a bad price 85 at bucks. all. You know, it's limited. Would buy. Again. It's, it's cast strength, though. It's really good quality cast strength at that. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's no 13-year age statement, but, you know, you're looking at 100 and, what, 30? 70. 170. 85. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Something to think about. Yeah. This is really, really good for under 100 bucks. Like, yeah. in today's game, and by saying this, I am in no way saying that I think that this is right or that's what people should be doing or that they should raise their prices but i think they could easily be asking a hundred for these yeah um and they would probably still get it so yeah. i like still seeing it at 85 in our area that's nice drew says he never sees these you will see these very soon <gasps> chat says you will see you cannot have the duck you cannot have the duck you can, you can have, have the, the chicken, chicken. <laughs> very deep cut <laughs> reference well, if anyone gets that wow i want to i want to he Whoa. wants to applaud you. Yes. <laughs> we say that all the time. I'll be cooking and just like, you cannot have the duck. You, you cannot have the duck. You cannot have the duck. You, you can have the chicken. Well, what can I order? You can have the chicken. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Jojo says, plus my wife just asked, do you think Chad and Sarah know who Jojo in, wait, know who is Jojo in this pic? It's such a small picture. Um, Jojo... I mean, I want to say on the you, left. You are Jojo. No. But because you said that, on the right. The gentleman. Okay, I'm going to go on the left. The lady. The lady. Who would have thought that we would have ever been split that way? Carlo and Nate. And Whoa, look, look at, at that. you. Carlo and Nate. And you know what you get? Nate. Wow. I applaud your movie uh choices for both of you here's a little trick if you're not sure just google steve martin video <laughs> uh movies wow chad loves a good steve martin flick nate cannot stop typing la story <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make sure that you saw oh, I did. that he knows and you know he knows wow yeah la story great movie uh 80s movie it was steve martin one. wrote I like it that one um, yeah, I, I showed it to you, right? You hadn't seen it before? You did, and okay. I hadn't. Um... Yeah. Loved it. Watched it as a kid. I think it holds up. Yeah. I, agree. I think that one holds up. Yeah. Now, 
Oh, I don't want to say it. Don't you talk about Three Amigos badly. I think that you really had to watch it when you were younger in order for it to be funny. I think it helps if you saw it as a late adolescent to early teen boy. And then you grew up with it. And then you love it. Yeah. Coming in from the outside, having none of none of those things. Sure. I could see how you would like it a lot. Yeah. Full tilt. He doesn't like Boogie it. Boogie <laughs> Bourbon Bunker <laughs> also got L.A. Story. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I trust you that you didn't hear that before you typed it. <laughs> Not that you win anything. But, yeah, Devin is mad at you now, Sarah. Oh, well, it's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm sorry. You're losing fans. Team Chad on uh, April 30th, everybody. Team Chad. Okay. He All likes I'm your movies. Is, he I'm, likes your movies. Okay. I'm just trying to think of another movie <clears throat> that, like, I probably watched at that age that I loved that now if I showed it to someone else or if I rewatched it, I might honestly be like, mm. I know you still love Three Amigos, but mm -hmm. Sarah would be wrong, Chad would be right. Well, I just didn't want to go the way he was going. Yeah, I'll just so. cheers you. I'm trying so to think of a know. movie that I would have watched that I would think is great, but that nobody, like if I showed it to you now, you'd be like, mm. I don't know. Nothing. I can't think. Oh, well, that, that. Nothing's coming to mind. Uh, witches that turn the kids into mice or something. Oh, yeah. The witches. The original the witches. version, not the new yeah, one. Yeah, we well, saw some of that and I was like, Sarah, I don't know if I can really get behind in this. In my memory as a kid, <laughs> I remember that movie being terrifying, but I liked to watch it. And so I was like, ooh, Chad, I used to love this movie. Let's watch it. It was around Halloween. We got about 30 minutes in and he was like, yeah, I don't know. And I was like, you know, it's not how I remember it. It was very slow. Yeah. But they like peel their faces off. It's terrifying. <laughs> Please don't say Justin and Kelly says Todd. <laughs> I've actually never seen that. Dude, little, where's my car? Little Buttercup. That's a really great one, Devin. Do you remember the Little Buttercup song from Three Amigos? The one time that you've watched it? Vaguely. It, when they do the, the performance in the bar. My Little, little buttercup, buttercup has the sweetest smile. Okay, that part was good. Buttercup. That part was good. Won't you stay a while? You and I will settle down in a cottage built for two. Oh, dear little buttercup. Sweet little buttercup. My little buttercup. I love you. Nailed it. How many years have Nailed you been it. waiting to perform that in front of an Seriously? audience? Seriously? Like, a long time. I have never heard you practice that song before. Oh. And we have lived together for a while now. Wow. Sometimes I don't even know you. <laughs> the 10 year old in me is just. Wow. Oh Good job, gosh. Chad. Good job. Good job. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Back to the show, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Eric. Eric saying three amigo. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. No super chat from Eric. Wait, Eric says, "Oh, three amigo sucks buttermilk through a crazy straw." I again, I think if you saw it at the right time in your life, you would have really. It would have been like you know you yeah. bonded with the movie. Yeah. Someone else said, "Dude, where's my car?" And like it was hilarious when it came out. I think sure. I was like thirteen years old, and I was like, "This movie is peak comedy." <laughs> now, peak. if I tried to show it to someone who's peak like comedy. younger, they would be like. Mm. What? Um, <laughs> dude, what does my say? Dude, what does my say? Sweet. Sweet. No, but what does mine say? Dude. dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think we missed one. Uh, before Greg? No, I think uh, it was that one from Eric. Oh, didn't he actually said. Happen. Okay, we read Greg's. Yeah. Oh. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, he said, "Weird coincidence. I just saw Dueling Banjos with Steve Martin and Kermit the Frog while waiting for the live to start. That's awesome. Nice. Oh. A classic." And Randy. Randy. Randy says, I have to watch my Glen Karen around my black lab. He loves bourbon. Cast strength. <gasps> is that what his name is? Cast strength? <gasps> his name should be Char. How cute. Char. I like it. Now his name is Char in my yeah. mind. Um Uh that's that's interesting because our, our dog, dog Zoe, she loves I, wine. She loves wine, so anytime I'm drinking something out of like a smallish glass, she'll be like, What you got there? And I'll what be you like, got over there? You wanna and she'll Oh no. Yeah. She'll turn her head up. Absolutely not. None of that. Not that I would give it to her anyways. Poor thing has pancreatitis. She can't have yeah. people food or alcohol or anything. Sure. Not that you should keep I'm not gonna tell you what you should do when it comes to your dog's alcohol. I'm not a vet. 
Uh, and Patrick, Patrick said, Palmer said, well, well, that was interesting. That was interesting. Hey, you know. It's bound to happen someday. We like to, to mix it up. We like to keep it fresh. We've been doing this for several years now. That keeps it real. Chad keeps it real. No for one... all those last Super Chats, we salute you. Thank you much. No one can stop Chad when he goes down a rabbit hole. Don't even try. <laughs> Uh, and Drew says, hmm, we aren't getting triangles or anything else for these. You know what, Drew? <laughs> you know what, Drew? Oh, a double. In my mind, it was... That was... Oh, okay. <laughs> that was fortissimo, Sarah. It was a little loud. Fortissimo. Uh-oh. Something fell. Oh, and we have an incoming. We will say that is also from... For Amy. Amy, who says, that wouldn't have made it on the gong show, but I apl applaud the performance, Chad. Wow. Thank you. Uh, can we get someone who says they in enjoyed, uh, enjoyed my performance? A few people said Chad can sing. You just missed it. Because <laughs> you were too busy basking in the glow of your own voice. That's true. Uh, and Brandon says, shout out to Chad's shirt. I work in Covington and love OKBB. OK, okay BB. Anytime we're in Northern Kentucky and we have the chance to go out for a drink, that is the spot. Absolutely. Um, thank you. Thank you. Now back to the rye. The rye. Definitely rye. I mean, it's <laughs> like you you can tell they're related when you nose them. The rye just again like duh, Sarah, but it has more spice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I feel like they have that same mm. again that graham cracker crust type of. Uh, toasty base note and then this just has the addition of the spice hmm. okay so people are commenting for you oh tiffany said my husband's saying every word with you chat oh jamie jamie thank you man sweet mm. and a few people said it was beautiful or it was okay so there well, you go Devin says it was beautiful well you're never gonna get a song like that out of me yeah. I, and not like I'm saying like, Lando. I'm not being one of those people who's all like, oh no, not me. I can't sing. <laughs> no, I really can't sing. It will probably sound like cats gargling nails or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Amy. I ain't mad at you. She said it <sighs> came out all wrong. Wait, what did she say? I forgot. She did the super chat where she said if that made, it wouldn't have made it onto the gong Oh, show. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's all good. Um... Hey, he put it out there. He asked for it. You're lucky this wasn't a... What's that show? Oh, no. The Simon Cow with the X's, though. Oh. Well, he did, mm. he was American Idol, right? Yeah, but I like it better when they give him X's. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know what it's yeah, called. Yeah, we don't watch America's this. Got Talent? Britain's no, Got Talent. No, it was... Someone's Got Talent. No one's Got Talent. Um, yeah, It's I can't not think The Voice. The... They turn their chairs around. No one X Factor. Oh, right? Because the X's X factor. makes sense. No yeah. one turned their chairs around. I'll turn my chair around for you. Thank you. Uh, I forgot who it was, but someone said, is it dill or, um, you know, peppermint type I don't of... get any dill. I'm getting... Mint or dill, says Jose. Um, A little clove. I w yeah, I would say it's more... Oh, clove and mint. Pepper. And black pepper, yeah. No dill, no thankfully. Dill. Thank you guys, the X Factor, because I was like, yeah. it's you know the one with the X's. They X is going to give it they to They say you. X, and then they're like, no. Yeah. But it's not. It couldn't be called the X Factor. That would be too easy. No. Mmm. Oh yeah, definitely minty. But not too much. Just a little minty. I don't think it's a ninety-five, five. No. Again, we didn't look it up beforehand, so might be talking out of our arses on this one, but it didn't exactly taste like a 95.5. I think it might be a little bit lower. I would expect at this proof for if it was a 95.5 for that to just like jump out. Did DMX die? Yes. You didn't know that? I thought... Mm, really? Yes. When? Uh, I think it was like last week. Time is something that I'm having trouble with now that we're back. I don't know. Trying to get back to real time frames and I, I, schedules. R.I.P. DMX. Yeah. Hmm. To that. I got it. To that. I got it. I'm sorry you, that you had. How did he die? 
What did he die of? We'll talk about it off. Okay. Offline. Well, we're gonna take this offline. We don't. Wanna, we don't wanna bring down the chat. Hmm. I'm just, apparently I'm your source of news. <laughs> well, yeah. Now that I think about it, it, I heard someone say something, and I was like, "Did I hear something about that?" And then I was just like, "Yes." Doop, 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 shiny. Um. I'm trying to dissect this rye. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It it doesn't drink as hot. I feel like not as hot, but like it doesn't it doesn't feel like a higher proof than the bourbon. I feel like the bourbon delivered a little bit more of a kick. Like I was thinking, one ten, one fifteen, blind. I would just you know guessing. Yeah, yeah. This one, I would say, yeah, it's probably like one hundred seven, one hundred nine, somewhere. Yeah. Which it, which it is. It's one oh one oh nine point six. Um. So, I guess depending on how you like it, that could be a good or or less than good thing but it's really enjoyable mm -hmm. uh someone ages ago asked how does it compare to pikesville you know i i don't think it's really in this those are exactly a good matchup you know pikesville is a barely legal bourbon sorry barely legal rye uh it drinks more like a high rye bourbon this one is drinking like a rye it very well could be 95.5 i don't know but um yeah i would put this up against what rye uh, maybe like that old pepper rye. Yeah, I remember or... that one being like semi minty and peppery. Like we're looking like into this. rye world we are. over here. This what's over here. Um, not the Russells. I although mean, it I wouldn't do love be fair to rye. put it against the Parker's Heritage. That's not fair. <laughs> well, again, that's a fifty-one. That's a barely. What legal... about the rare breed? Rare breed is one fifteen, one sixteen, one twelve. It's not. I'll just high... shout numbers until it's, it's right. It's not high rye though. Um, I feel like this really needs to be too. High rye rye. Uh, this would be like a more elevated version of New Riff rye. Uh -huh. I feel like. Um, well, you know what would be a really even better this or that? Yes. This versus the Michter's 10 year rye because mm. it's more expensive. Oh, yeah. Now that one is like, hello, I am rye. How are you? Hello, I'm rye. How are you? Nice <laughs> to meet you. What's your hello, name? Hello, I'm Janet. Um, Hi, I'm Janet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed that show. I wish it was still on. I went, I think, what? Super Chat. Oh, yes. Um, it's a, sorry, Young. Young Pei Chang? I think that's right. So embarrassed that I yeah, I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna butcher names. bumbled that. We're gonna Very names. embarrassed right now. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm a jerk. Uh, it says, hi guys, that looks pretty good. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I'm gonna thank you in advance for your understanding that alcohol is involved and I didn't even see the super chat until just now. <laughs> and then Please forgive our terrible pronunciation. Taste and Thank sensibility. You. Saying looking forward to seeing you all at Whiskey Weekend. Whoa. Whoa. Looking forward to seeing you too. What? I didn't know you were going to be there. I didn't either. Did I know you were going to be there? I don't think so. I don't think so. We don't need think to, we we need to email. We need to email. Yeah. I don't, well... Not have to look at the list. Again, alcohol. I can't remember. I don't think so. But for those two super chats, we thank you. Oh. I cheers myself. Okay. There you go. That's the point where we're at right now. I'm all <laughs> flustered and embarrassed. How would it compare to the will at four year? There you go. Um, I would say this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for your understanding. Appreciate it. I feel like a horrible human. You're all right. Okay. And I'm over it. You know what will make it better? Between the two of these, though. Between the... If, yeah. Since we're doing a drink this or that, rye versus bourbon. Admittedly, not a completely fair game. But these are our two Michter's barrel strengths. So that's, what we're, that's where we are right now. I like them both. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. This... Hmm. And I'm really nitpicking here. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm really getting into the just minutia of it. There is, at the finish of this, it still has that minty note. It almost goes toothpaste. Almost. It's like dancing on the edge of it. Do I want to be dancing. that? Now, I would normally never say anything negative about this bottle. But if I'm trying to decide between these two, that's like a down vote for this one. You know, a little, a little tick mark against it. Um... 
I was, I think also today, I'm just really in the mood for these yummy, dark, syrupy graham cracker notes um, mm -hmm. that are in the yeah. bourbon. I also think... So I think I'm going to go here. It's going to come down to, uh, are you more of a bourbon or a rye fan? Um, but we've we've had some really exceptional rye. So I think these are pretty well matched because they're from the same distillery, but I give my vote to the bourbon as well. Yeah, I think another a point that's in the rice corner is like, I think this one has just an edge of harshness to it, um, and the rye finishes a little bit more even and without that little zip. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Today, I'm gonna vote this one. Yeah, the bourbon, like same. you. Same, but. That's a really tough. That's really hard. Yeah. I like them both a lot. What's Whiskey Weekend? What's Whiskey Weekend, you ask? <laughs> and James Morgan says, cheers to the wedding. Whose wedding? The wedding. To the, the wedding. The red wedding from Game of Thrones. <gasps> no. Whiskey Don't Weekend is um, a, well, this will be the third year, uh, the podcast guys. That uh, podcast, that's called the podcast, Will and Grease. Um, this is our second year that we've been involved. We're going to be up there in Louisville next weekend uh, with, uh, with a bunch of our friends. Bunch of friends. And, a uh, lot of whom are in the chat. Doing some shenanigans. We got a, a presentation that we're doing on Thursday night. I'm scared of public speaking. <laughs> this is easy. I'm looking at a camera. Yeah. It's going to um, be really fun. We got some crazy, uh, hopefully really fun stuff planned. And uh, there's VIP tastings. There's distilleries there. I mean, it's... It's it's sold out, but they will be sold one. out for this year. There'll, there'll be, be one again next, next year, year, just so you all know. Yeah. And then you know, it there's also lots of other whiskey events that we go to throughout the year. We're going to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival in September. Um, we hear that the New Orleans Bourbon Festival is supposedly back on for August, so we hope yep. to be able to go down for that one. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I can't think of any other off the top of my head except for the Bastards Ball in Texas. Which again, I think we're still sorting out details uh -huh. on on that. Yep. Um, but yeah, and then we, you know, mm. offer mm. 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 mini meetups to our own patrons. We got one cooking right now. Right, working on one for fall. I can't. Well, it was basically a copy of the one that was planned for June 2020, but uh, that didn't work out. So yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna put it on hold? For... Tell you what, Emily. What's says Emily gonna do? You gonna do? What's Emily she say? say? Emily say. Emily, say. <laughs> Emily says, Jojo and I are watching your live with my oh. parents for the first time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my mom would like to know, what's your favorite driest tasting rye? Hopefully you mm. know what she means. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chad tends to not love the dryness yeah. of things. Yeah. That's a mm. good question. I mean, this was actually a little, a little dry. drying. And not a dry enough. Um, Yeah. That, oof, I don't tend to earmark those in my head because I'm like, why would I want to earmark a dry rye mm. when that's not what I'm looking for? So, yeah, I can't I, really... I could literally just shout out a rye at you, but I don't want to do that because I feel Ooh, like... I remember our preservation distillery tour, we had some of their harvest ryes. The harvest ryes? And one of those they was... The harvest and the sun... They're like a summer, 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 summer rye. Mm. There's a, there's a. Mm. They have some seasonal rye. Yeah, and one of those was, was dry. Was, was pretty dry. I mean, it was good, but it was, it was a little dry. So I think some of the whistle pig rye can be a little dry. That's true. Um. That is true. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, you know what would be fun for you? What would be fun? Uh, if you could. Now they're at the Total Wines in our area, but they have a uh, whistle pig homestock. Which we mm. were actually is a rye, mm -hmm. and we were actually involved in blending that. That's and right. that, that could be fun. Yeah. yeah I don't maybe. remember if it was super dry, but I don't yeah. I think so, but yeah. And we got Vic32198. Uh, he's a stormtrooper. He says, uh, Sorry I'm late. I have the cream of Kentucky 13, and I like it. Cheers and thanks for those new riff picks. Vic, there you go. A Thank wizard you much, arrives Vic. precisely when he means to. <laughs> You're a wizard and a stormtrooper. So thank you. Oh, we're doing this again. I only did it once to be cute. Well, it's not cute anymore. I already did it, Chad. You wore, you wore it out. Stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> I can't. 
Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour myself some more of this bourbon. I think I'm just gonna, I have a couple more sips left and we are nearing the end. So okay. I think I'm gonna yes. hold Sarah with an H back. Just a wee just nip. Keep her, keep her tucked in. Uh, she's got to rest up for next weekend. Sun's getting real low. She's got a big mm. weekend next weekend. Sun's getting I real do low. feel like it is like a version of the Hulk. Like... Not super strong, not super angry. Well, well, can get a little angry. She's like, mostly hangry. She's like, Wendy. Can get a little hangry. That's her superpower, hanger. Yeah. So uh, toss out some toss out some questions here in our mm. in our remaining our remaining moments. That sounds morose. Yeah, I don't like that. I think I'll be here for more than just a few more moments. <laughs> Uh, Jeremiah wants me to bring out, bring that H out. Bring that H out. Bring him out. Bring it the H bring out. out. Bring him out. No. <laughs> and Devin says Sarah's my Sarah with an H is my BFF. There yes. you go. She makes she has her own contact list. She should really have her own phone. <laughs> should yeah, she should. A burner. <laughs> what? No, I can't do it, Scott. I can't do it. Appreciate you guys really wanting. It's also sort of like Popeye because you just take one of these and you, and then it goes in and you're like, Sarah with an H. That's exactly what happens. Yeah. Oh, and if we could animate, man, that that is something that we would do for an episode. Carlos says try a Snickers. So clever. You're not you and you're hungry. Yeah. You're you're kind of a Sarah with an H. Here have a Snickers. Yeah. Yeah. Here have a bourbon. Wait, it would be here have a coffee. Here, have uh, a burger. Todd wants to know what's the meaning of life. I think it's 27. Right? Or is uh, it 42? Isn't 27 at the age where like all, a lot of famous musicians have passed away? Janis Joplin. Uh, Jim Morrison. Jim Jimmy Morrison. Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix. Amy Winehouse. Uh, Kurt Cobain. That's a 27 club. There's more. There might be some more. I'm thinking yep. some more, yeah. There's a poster somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, Brian Brennicky says, Brian Brennicky. Mm -mm. I feel like Sarah with an H would make it to the casino on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, Brian, how dare you? I literally just said to Chad today, do you think we could, do, do you think we could, and we decided again, no, it's in my best interest. We gotta, we gotta be professional. Oh, I really want to go. Yeah. I really want to go, but. Thank you for that, Brian. And alas. Then, and then Sean, how about some toasted rye and toasted bourbon flight fights? Ooh, have I have some, some ideas. ideas. We might have to pass those along, Sean, because we don't have a whole lot of toasted, right? Well, well we, got we have some, the Michter's toasted, I guess the Elijah Craig toasted. Our newest stuff would be Nulu toasted. Nulu toasted. Yeah. What else? Is there any others? Let us know, Sean. Let us, Let us know. know. But for those last two Super Chats, for Brian and Sean. Everybody's thank saying. Thank you. 42, Todd is saying to do it, <laughs> a.k.a. he means the casino. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Everyone's saying 42. I'm going to throw you under the bus. Chad, <laughs> meet the bus. Bus, meet Chad. Oh, boy. Rock, hard place, meet Chad. I'm in between it. Someone has to be the adult here, and it's not going to be me. Mm, mm hmm <gasps> Um, not a rye question. I just want to do hood rat stuff with my friends. <laughs> what do you think of the regular Jefferson's Reserve bourbon? Uh, I don't want to speak for you, Sarah. I, I you think, can speak for me, Chad. Well, okay. It's, it's not our fave. It's definitely a step up from the regular Jefferson's. Um, but you well, know, I think we've at around, long since graduated from that right. proof point, from that uh, flavor profile. It's like 90.2. Four ninety point two, I can't remember. Yeah, I think um, it's ninety point four. And it's usually around fifty dollars. And I've found some. We found something that we like better in that same price category. That is also from Jefferson's, and that's their single berry, their single berry, their single barrel picks, which are a hundred proof. So it's up more around that proof that we like. And admittedly, we've only had one so far, and that was at a tasting bar. Um, it was a store pick, but it was. I was like, wow. This is really good. Yeah. So I think we would rather hunt out some of those single barrel mm -hmm. picks at 100 proof than pay the same price essentially for a 90 proof Jefferson's Reserve. Sure. And like they have other things in there, 
you know, lineup. Like, I like the Pritchard Hill, which is the finished release. Um, they did a Chef's collaboration. They just did another release of that, which I liked a lot. Um, and then they did a one-time rum cask finish. Ooh, and I really liked that one. Rum. And then there's no more. I'm like, how are you going to do me like that, yeah. Trey? <laughs> how are you going to do that to me? We also like their cast drink voyages of ocean i think that but you know they're more money but they're more i think money, those but... are the best voyages in, in our opinion but again grain of salt we like proof right there you go kimber <laughs> uh <laughs> did you just yell that like timber i did my goodness okay. i'm yelling kimber says have you all tried or reviewed the mictor's toasted rye mm. we put it in one of our season list. I think it was fall. fall. I think it was the first one. I think it was the first one. I yeah. Uh, um, so go check out Eight Bourbon Arise. You should be drinking this fall very video. Good. Liked it. For a mention of that. So we included it in there with eight others. So that means we gave it a thumbs up. And Eric saying 42. 42, 42. is the answer. Is the answer to life. And then Ty Koopa and the Koopa Troopas. His band plays every weekend. Uh, it says, <laughs> such a jerk. Is it really a weekend if we don't start on uh, a Wednesday? If you don't start on Wednesday, um, 42. That's just what I'm gonna answer for Todd now. He won't budge. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, and Devin you, said, Todd Cooper, Devin. preach. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I thought you were saying our super chat, which is from Kay Davis. Oh, I didn't see that yet. It hadn't popped up on my screen. Thank you for the super chat. And Drew. Woo Drew Bolin saying Takupa. Uh, I, I think we all need to get and it's it's, it's casino, casino night. night. I see what you did there. That's nice. Wow. I think that's we'll those are all triangle chip, worthy. Chipping away. Chipping away. I mean Yeah, I think that'd be great. The night before we're supposed to uh, give a... Who said uh, I was drinking at this casino night? No, not drinking. you just up all night at Who the crab table. Who said I would table. be up all night? Do you know me? Yeah. I like to go to bed. Hmm. But not if you're down. Uh, especially if I'm down. <laughs> if I'm Emily, up, if I'm winning, that's when it's hard yeah, to leave. True. Emily, that triangle uh, goes for you too. She says, oh dear. Now my dad wants to know your favorite <laughs> between Obtanium Rye, Alberta Cast Drink, which we have right here, actually. But it's not open, so it's we can't open. weigh in on that one. <laughs> Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye Ooh. and Pikesville Straight Rye. Which would you choose? Thank you. Thank uh, you, Emily. Oh, man. Um, I mean... <sighs> well, we I'm going to give you my answer. We haven't had the Alberta. We haven't had the Alberta, so we got to take that out of the equation. The Unobtanium... The Obtanium. Sorry. Unobtanium? Obtanium. Obtanium. Obtain the one that we have was it a rye? Mm. It's just a it's a it's a it's a light whiskey. Where is it? It's upstairs. Oh, it's just a light whiskey. Uh, so we haven't had the rye on that one, so we can't really weigh in. Liked the what we had, the light whiskey, uh -huh. but haven't had the rye. But it's supposedly harder to find. So yeah. I think the most fair conversation is between the Knob Creek, Knob and, Creek the and the Pikesville. For the money, I'm gonna go Pikesville. I like Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye. I mm -hmm. do. And I think it might... And they're both 115 proof. Yeah, I was going to say, they're right around the same proof. But man, Plus there's just something there about Pikesville there, but... that I really love. Yeah. Um, it is like a go-to for me. I would also have to go... With the Pikesville? With the Pikesville. But level. there is really no wrong answer between those two. I think you'll find something that you like. Yeah. Um, Emily's dad. Uh, <laughs> but I personally would go with the Pikesville. Emily's dad. <laughs> Emily's dad. I don't know. <laughs> Emily's dad, please get uh, a, a YouTube um, <laughs> a account. A YouTube account so you can and, and sign sign in and subscribe to It's Bourbon. But when you create your account, it. can you make your name Emily's dad? Emily's dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Kentucky Bluegrass says, I'm out on my dry week, or I'm on my dry week next week with an angel emoji. Yes, I will be doing, nice. when we come back from Whiskey Weekend, I have already pre-planned a dry time period at some point um well i have oh yeah you're doing like immediately we, we were we were just talking today about i need a, incorporating it into you know the schedule into the videos mm. 
Well, because, and we were talking about this too, if you think about it, Friday's episode was a set tour. We didn't drink for that. That's right. So we could have done that on a drive. We have a lot of other content month. like that that we would like to get out. The lives are hard. The lives will be a challenge. Mm -hmm. I think we can find something to do. I think we can. Um, it's one of those, it makes you more creative when you paint yourself into a corner. You right. know, real creativity is born when you have these restrictions, right? If you just have carte blanche, it's like, well, you can do anything. And then you're anything. like, what do we do? Again, it's we that option paralysis. <laughs> That's right, Pinky. Zoinks. Nerf. But uh, I'm the brain, if anything. <laughs> so I'm. Um. <laughs> Eat gap, right? Um, what was I saying? Um, Dry week month. Yeah. We haven't decided. We haven't um, decided. But we think probably we will do and like tie it in to the, to the show. Well, I will be. Yes, that's to, at a later date. We, it might be our distillery-esque break in the late summer, you know? Um, like I was saying earlier, how distilleries take uh, like two weeks to a month to do maintenance and cleaning. Mm -hmm. It's my body's maintenance and right. cleaning. <laughs> now, it won't mean that we won't have videos. Oh, we'll definitely have videos. Yeah. You can't keep me away from these people. Yes, I'm definitely pinky. Definitely. Has my pinky. <laughs> yeah, definitely pinky. <laughs> Nerf. <laughs> um, anyways, so we just need some pre-planning, but I think it'll be good. Um. As much as I love bourbon and rye and just whiskey and socializing, sometimes you just need a little reset. You gotta, you gotta, gotta you know. Treat, this is a temple, okay? <laughs> it's gotta be a system of checks and balances. We gotta yeah. check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, you know? Tom W. asks, live next Sunday? That is the plan. Now, as you mm. all have heard... Let's keep that a tentative. Let's yes. put a hold on our calendars <laughs> and then make it a tentative. Right, um, right. It will be a weekend, and we will be traveling back from Louisville on Sunday uh, after a lovely brunch with some wonderful folks. Um, and I'm just not sure how we're going to be feeling. So. Sarah. What? Emily's dad. <gasps> no! I love it. Oh my gosh, this is my most favorite thing. Emily's dad, we hope you're a subscriber to It's Perfect Night. Emily's dad, that's for you. Um, <laughs> my goodness. Thank you, my son-in-law Jojo sent me here. Wow. Wow. Emily's dad is quick. It's very quick. I'm never going to forget you now. <laughs> <laughs> Our Night Squad team leader, Jose, wants to know where we got these glasses. That is an excellent question, Jose. What? And the shirt? And the shirt that you're wearing. It is whiskeyambitions.com. Also, the water glasses we're both drinking from. Mm. And, you know, we've got rocks glasses. We've got copitas, which is really fancy. Great for the summer because you can keep those fruit flies and gnats out of your that whiskey. That is, is coming up. Uh, T-shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. Also whiskey important for body maintenance. Drink more water. It's true. We gotta as do much it. whiskey as you drink, you should drink even more. Water. Water. Drink more water. It's great. It makes you feel better. Aren't we just the responsible, just good Don't advice channel? Don't pat yourself on the back. Don't break your arm, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're oh, all adults. Oh, no. Carlo. You can tell them. His body is, is also a temple. Ancient, ancient crumbling <laughs> and housing something evil. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a... I would buy that movie. I would watch that. <laughs> I think that's The Grudge. In a world <laughs> where Carlo's body is a temple. Oh my gosh. Ancient, crumbling, and housing something evil this summer. In a, it does sound like an in a world ad. In a world. In a world where... Oh my lord. Goodness. Um, hey, here, cheers to Emily's dad. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> but you guys cheers. You know that old toast? Emily's to dad. Emily's dad. Everyone should just sign up at weddings now. <laughs> this one's for Emily's dad. And no one will know what's Here's going on. Here's to the on. couple and Emily's dad. Emily's dad. dad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Everyone, if your parents have not, if they do not have a YouTube account, a Google account. Um, no, because then we won't be able to tell them all apart. Please have them get one my and have them subscribe to his bourbon night. Tony Curtis says, so that's my problem. And I'm not sure if he's talking about drinking more water or that his... Uh, username isn't someone's dad or Tony we know who you are don't you worry about it no it's something else he's is talking about a, something is else is it a saxophone problem Kimber says suggestion for a contender in the rye flight fight peerless double oaked thoughts mm, double oaked rye we don't have that do we I don't think we have, we have a, a peerless, peerless rye. rye right over there but I it, don't it, think it's double it oaked. taint double oaked it's right there see that little guy right by the Elijah Craig <laughs> He's just a little guy. Look at him. He's just a little guy. 
Yeah. So, yeah, don't know. <laughs> Drew um, said, I didn't think I'd ever like anything more than the Buttercup song. And then he drops in a world and my mind is blown. <laughs> Someone's going to record that Buttercup song, and it's going to live so. forever. I hope so. Uh, I'm multi-talented. I, I, I thought you guys would have figured this out by now, but I'm a quadruple. What's after quadruple? Fival threat. I, Quintuple? Quinn is Quinn. three. No. That's triplets. You're right. Triplets. What's Quinn? What's Quinn? Six? Five. No, that would be... Sextuplet. Se yeah. Quinn is five. I I'm pretty sure. So the Quinjet in the Marvel movies? Ooh. You know, Five engines? Chad, I'm not sure. Okay. Well... This is not... Yeah, I'm just... Do, back to the subject. Yeah. Uh, this is not the double oaked. So I guess when we're up in Louisville, we might have to see if they're open so we can scoop one of them. Yeah. Thank you, Kimber. We appreciate that. Well, thanks and for the tips, Kimber. I'm going to give you I am a out. cheers on the rye. And then another one. Thanks. For good measure. Quintuple. Yes. Sagamore double oaked. Hmm. I don't know about that. 1910 is, is double barreled. Um, but it's not, so it's not toasted. Right. It's not toasted. Um, that I mm. know of. I've got to the point, too, where I really like smelling an empty glass with that has had bourbon or rye. It gets like a nice oaky maple -y smell mm, and it's mm -hmm. really good i wish i could capture that and make it a candle <laughs> yeah absolutely mm. very nice <laughs> youtube doesn't like your your comments and trying to help us with the whole quintuplets oh you put sex in a chat no nope. can't do that can't do that <laughs> we're not adults can't we can't handle it that. <laughs> goodness so gracious. quinn sex sept oct Yes. Yeah, octocopter is an eight propeller drone. But what drone. doesn't make sense is that October an is octopus. the tenth month. Why is that? Oh, that's a Greek god or something? I don't know. Or is that the days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. I've gone down a road that I can't follow. <laughs> uh, I'm also mm, not following. No, um, no one is. Yeah. So there we go. All right, Chad. I think we've about I think hit. We've, I've hit. I'm, hit that hit that wall. I'm out of whiskey and I'm not going to pour it anymore at this point. <laughs> so, uh, last chance. Let's get us up to 200 of these guys before before we leave. That'd be awesome. If anyone has what a, given a thumbs up, 194. Ooh, close. Yeah, so close. Just six more. Just six more. Emily's dad. We're counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> it all hangs on the shoulders of Emily's dad. <laughs> Poor thing. He's like, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> 195. Oh, it's the Julian calendar, sir. He's been indoctrinated into this whiskey community now. Julian um, calendar. Julian? Mm -hmm. Well, I learned says something Says the Koopa. Today. JoJo says, you guys just made my father-in-law's day. Hashtag Emily's dad. Gosh. Love him. Thank you. What a precious angel. Ugh. I got a little bit left. To Emily's dad. <laughs> you, know what they, they'll, you know what the old saying goes. Emily's dad. Oh, we got there. Thank you. Boom Yay. city. 218. Very nice. Thank Very you nice. much. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, 220. That's awesome. Wow. Thanks for hanging out with us uh, on another Sunday evening. Our livers will do its best, their best to make it to next Sunday for you. Absolutely. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, no promises. I don't like to break promises, so I don't want to make them. Everyone just have some questions ready in case it's just like a uh, an AMA, you know? It might just be, I'm not drinking, but I am here in front of your face. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it might be shorter if we do one. Maybe it's not an hour. Maybe it's 30 minutes or so. Oh. We'll see how we're feeling. Let's an abbreviate. It could be an hour and a half. We could just be like on a roll and be like, yes, we are supercharged. We'll gauge it. I don't think that's going to happen to me. 234. All right. Nice. Thank you, guys. Emily's dad. <sighs> All right. Okay. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Emily's dad. And, okay, um, well, why do you like him better than everyone else now? <laughs> it's just like the words have lost all meaning. It's, it's just like fun tartlet, to say. tartlet, tartlet, tartlet. The word has lost all meaning. So, I recognize it, but I don't, I can't just pull references out of a hat. Friends. Oh. Hmm. It was uh, John, John Lovitz. It did sound like something he would say, but I couldn't remember what it was. Tartlet. Tartlet. Yeah, he's like, uh, yes, I, I am. Yes. All right.
We'll see you guys uh, Friday for a produce episode and <laughs> Sunday. <Man>. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you later. Bye-bye.